Well, I'm so glad to be with Amy from The Cross Legacy. If you were to tell us moms one thing about simplifying our kitchen, what would it be? I have lots of single ingredient items that we can use to make a lot of different things instead of just, I never have a bunch of like condiments in my fridge. Mm -hmm. That's a good one to talk about. Like in my fridge, I normally only have like one bottle of ketchup and one bottle of, or, or jar, cause I make it, but one jar of barbecue sauce or one to two things of salad dressing at a time. So I am helping other people clean out the refrigerators cause they're like, I don't have room for produce in my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, well how many, you know, jars of salsa do you have in your refrigerator that yeah. need to be tossed? <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, and I found for myself, I need to keep lower grocery inventory. Like I need to keep my fridge not so full. Otherwise I forget about stuff. In the past I could remember like if I had leftovers or avocados that were going bad. And now I'm like, if I don't see it, it's like out of sight, out of mind. And so I found that by lowering our food inventory, we waste so much less and we, but we still actually have plenty <laughs> to eat. I'm kind of the opposite of that, but <laughs> totally the opposite in that same thing. But we store things in glass. And when you open up the okay. refrigerator, it's beautiful and you can see it. And you you're like it. on Instagram, you can see it every day, what it looks like. But, um, we don't have leftovers really. Like what I'm making, I'm either making it to batch cook, which has okay. been really helpful the last couple of weeks. Um, our grandma is needing a lot of care. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm grabbing this dinner, this dinner and this dinner out of the fridge and I'm out of the freezer and taking it with us. But if we had leftovers, we're eating the next day for lunch and we don't have days and days worth of leftovers in the mm -hmm. refrigerator or I'm making something like chicken that I'm planning on repurposing in different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, but my thing is to stay out of the grocery store, like, okay. <laughs> you know, trying not to go to the grocery store. So we used to go to the grocery store, like almost every day. Like my yeah. husband was like, can you stop at the store on the way home? You know, and yeah. get this or do that, you know? And I started pushing it out. Like, can I go three days without going? Can I go a whole week without going to the grocery store? And you know, now with the grocery prices being so high going yeah. to the is such a huge deal but we had cut everything else in our budget and we couldn't figure out how to not work five jobs at one time and it was the food costs that we didn't realize how much we were spending because it's food like yeah food but now we have food security in our home and we spent 135 dollars per person on groceries for the entire month wow and that's just from you don't waste any food mm -hmm. you I'm sure meal plan and then also batch cooking or what are your secrets to that? I, the funny thing is, is I really hate to meal plan. So. <laughs> <laughs> I am really honest about that. I really yeah. hate to meal plan. I don't know what I want to wear next Tuesday. Like how am I not supposed to know what I'm going to eat next Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> but um, when I make a recipe, I try to make it, if it's something that can go into the freezer, I try to make enough for three. So I'm oh, making wow. dinner for night tonight and then dinner for two more nights. And okay. if I can only have to cook like two nights a week, that's amazing. And then I just keep a rotation of meals out of the freezer when we can do that. Um, yeah, meal planning is one of those kind of funny things, but I do keep a stocked um, pantry of everything that I could possibly need to make things. So okay. I have a course where I teach people how to have a stock pantry and that they don't have to go to the grocery store so often. Okay, well, you just said you didn't meal, you don't meal plan. So if if you were to give us moms advice in this area, because what we hear is you got a meal plan, you got a meal plan, right? In order to save money and to know what you're gonna have to for dinner tonight. So what is your method then for knowing what your family is gonna eat this week and making your grocery list? I look in the fridge, fridge first. Like what is in the fridge that I need to base a meal around? So always the fridge, like okay. what's that produce item I need to eat up in the fridge? Which is funny cause like things like cauliflower and asparagus or artichokes, they last like a month. And so then I'm like pushing it off for weeks because, oh, well, we don't need to eat that yet. You know, okay. we eat something else first. Yeah. So um, we do have a freezer that has all of our meat in it for the year. Um, so I do have that here. We save up every month and put money aside in a meat account for <laughs> our, our yearly or every 18 months. Now we don't have so many people in the house, but looking in the fridge and seeing what you can use up first oh. and planning around that is like gold. That's so good. And so then, okay, so you look in the fridge. So you must be writing out a list of meals you're gonna make then. 
I really don't. <laughs> I, I really don't. Like, I want to be super honest. I yeah. really don't. I will look at the fridge and see like, oh, we need to use up these carrots and I will go pull a roast out of the freezer and in two days it'll be defrosted. And then I know that we'll be having roast like, or <laughs> like, I would love to say, yes, I love to meal plan and that no. is so this is music to my ears. I hate meal planning. So <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so, you know, and having this food ready to go, having meals ready to go um, is like a game changer for us. Okay. So for those of us who are listening to you and we're like, this sounds awesome. Like, I love this, but also a little overwhelming. Where, <laughs> what would be a first step in this direction? Trying to reduce your food waste. That's what I teach every day. We put a new tip on Instagram every single day of what I'm doing with different produce items to help encourage other people to use their produce items. Mm -hmm. But really the first step is to try to reduce your, your produce waste and then you're not so scared to buy it. And then your family's eating a rainbow and you're eating healthier. And the more produce that is rotating and being eaten through your house, yeah. the better. But the average family in the United States throws away 30 to 40% of the food that they buy. Wow. And the World Economic Forum came out this spring to say it was 61% globally. Like what? fixing your grocery budget isn't about finding sales and going all the way around to the stores and different things. It's eating the food that you have already bought. My husband's starting to learn all of my tricks because I post them. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm always like stretching out like hamburger and meat and different things by adding zucchini and cauliflower to it. He doesn't know, you know, and he'll eat it and it can double like the meat recipe. Wow. Um, but I seriously was sneaking in zucchini and grandma soup yesterday and blending it up, trying to get some more nutrients in there, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Amy, I think we're all convinced that we need to follow you so that we can reduce our food waste, get a grip on just how our family's eating. I think we all know that we can improve in that department, but it's just hard. So I think to have a friend like you who's willing to like, day after day walk us through that just found, sounds really nice <laughs> so thank you for being willing to do that and sharing all of this um online it is so helpful thank you for having me like i've been following you for years so this is just it's like sitting having coffee with a hero <laughs> uh, yes, oh God. thank you i feel like i need to go uh look in my fridge and see what's about to go <laughs> in there. don't throw it away <laughs> eat it <laughs>